Hey everyone, what's going on? Hope you're having a good day. This is a tutorial on how to convert a Clone Hero custom over for Guitar Hero World Tour Definitive Edition. I'm gonna assume that you know how to install World Tour Definitive Edition and you have the SDK up and running. If you don't have that up and running, I seriously, seriously, I cannot stress this enough. Please go watch their installation video because uh, this, this is a, a little bit more savvy than most tutorials that I've ever made. Um, this isn't like a drag and drop sort of thing. There is a couple of things that you have to pay attention for or else your custom is going to straight up not work. You're going to go to the root folder of the SDK and there's going to be a folder called assets and a folder called songs. Now, if you don't have the songs folder, it's okay. You can just make it. I, it might be case sensitive. It might not be, but in just in this case, capital S lowercase O N G S. And then uh, this is where we're going to paste our Clone Hero song into. As for Clone Hero songs, I'm going to convert Electrocution to 50 Dr. Fluffles. So Control C, Control V. I'm going to put that in there. Now, here are two things that the SDK currently doesn't support. It doesn't support guitar.opus and it doesn't support notes.chart. It doesn't support those formats currently. So we're going to convert them over. And this is the way that I like to do it. I like to use Onyx just so it can convert to dot. Uh, aug for the audio um, the chart there is some there is some issues with uh, charts being converted through onyx and it being accepted by guitar Hero world tour i believe it has to do with something with the forcing of the first note going into like a hammer on it's also forced if you you know if you run it through onyx but guitar hero world tour doesn't like it when you force a strum note that's obviously supposed to be a strum note so it pushes that forcing forward um so yeah i you know it, it, it's just really weird so we're just going to use this basically just to convert over our audio really quick so we're going to click clone hero and then click create ch folders all right so dr fluffles is now converted and we have our uh song.org we're going to take out the notes.mid right here because we're just going to convert the raw chart file over in moon scraper just going to copy the address right here file load paste and right here notes.chart just like that we're going to click file and export format mid leave it on rock band 2 hit export and then we're going to save it as notes.mid and we're done with moon scraper there so now we're going to take this notes.mid and put it in our newly converted one we could take out the old clone hero folder right there and close out of onyx because we're not going to need that anymore and now with the sdk open we can go scroll into songs and then convert song. And since we're sitting here in the assets uh, songs folder, should be right here, Dr. Fluffles, I'm gonna hit enter. And I like to install it in the user content folder because it keeps things you know clean in my install directory for World Tour. So just like to install it there. And then we're gonna select MIDI plus FSB, which is both the chart and the audio. So we're gonna hit enter on that and we're gonna let it sit. If uh, it comes up right here and says, at long last, all done, should be good. Press enter. And for it to show up in the game, you're going to go to mods. And then you're going to go into World Tour Definitive Edition. And then update user content. And it should scan right here. There you go, Dr. Fluffles. Boom, enter, and done. So this should show up in the game and work just fine. I don't think the song was made in 1969, but you could change that. Yeah, that that uh, that works just fine. Now, obviously, you know, we're not going to all have the same custom songs and, you know, all the charts are not going to be the same. So if you're wondering what happens to stuff like. So as you can see, that was a tap chord. And no matter what I do, if I tap it or I force strum it, it will never, ever, ever hit. So. Hopefully, this is something that gets fixed in uh, future updates for World Tour Definitive Edition because I know at this point, a ton of Clone Hero songs probably have tap chords, so that's a bit annoying. Um, also, another thing that's been happening is uh, open notes. Open notes were a thing in Guitar Hero World Tour, but only on bass. Now, when they re-enabled its use for it to be used on guitar... Um, I believe something happened. I don't know what happened, but uh, 
sometimes when they're forced, they show up as pull-off opens. And uh, they you still you still have to strum them. Even if there is a note before it, you still have to strum it. See, I just pulled off right there. did it properly. Pulled off right on time. So you're, you're basically forced to strum those, but they still work. And now another thing with uh, with hammer on pull off chords uh, they will show up if they actually do make it through the conversion this one i don't think it made it through this conversion i don't think but um if it does with whatever custom song that you decide to convert if they actually show up you do have to strum them oh yeah also i tried to convert uh solace 4 over I i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hide it and uh, it just crashes on the loading screen uh like that so i i don't know i think maybe there's something having to do with songs longer than 10 minutes or so or maybe there's a note limit in this game i have no idea oh god if there's a note limit oh no well okay guys hopefully it was helpful as much as possible um but thank you guys for watching and take care of yourselves